curse them because it is the Lord's doing. And that is if you are in the right. If you're in the wrong, then that's a different story. And no matter what, it is all God's doing. God. And that's one of the things that David recognized in this chapter, that it is all the Lord's doing. It is the Lord's strength. It is the Lord's power. It is the victory that God brings you. It's all on him and he blesses those who bless you and curse those who curse you everyone gets what's coming to you the good the bad the ugly if you are in the right if you're in the wrong well that's a different story and David recognized that everything his victory his shield his protection and so forth is God's divine providence his decree now we see that David says I love you Lord why does he do that turn on over to first John Chapter 4, verse 17 through 19. Love has been perfected among us in this that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he, as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love but perfect love cast out fear because fear involves torment but we but he who fears has not been made perfect in love we love him because he first loved us and one of the things we see is in God's divine decree and providence God not only in this lifetime but the lifetime to come deals out justice fights for the underdog so to speak and everyone not only in this lifetime but in the lifetime to come pays for what they did the good the bad the ugly justice and in your own lifetime God will bring about justice I was just thinking about something the other last month I ordered something from an internet website and they ripped me off but shortly afterwards I read that they busted these people for ripping people off so God blesses those who bless you and curses those who curse you punish those who punish you not only in this lifetime but the lifetime to come because God is about justice fairness and partialness it may not seem like it but God in his own providence and divine decree works out everything according to his will and purpose and deals justice because he is a man, a God of justice, righteousness and holiness. And everyone will get what's coming to him, the good, the bad, the ugly, not only in this lifetime but the lifetime to come. But people won't exactly get a hundred percent what they deserve in this lifetime but they definitely will get what they deserve in the lifetime to come you know and we're in 
the time of Thanksgiving in the Christmas season and it always seems like things go wrong around Christmas time for people don't let the devil on the flesh in the world beat you down and make you angry because you know all over America and around the world people celebrate Christmas and so even the unsaved celebrate Christmas and it's a time when everyone's praising and in some way or another giving thanks for Jesus Christ being born because that's what it's about this Christmas season's about Jesus Christ being born or conception he wasn't born until later but he was but the conception took place around Christmas time December 25th and so people are celebrating the holiday whether they know what it's about or not they're still celebrating it and the devil gets upset and gets angry but remember that at the cross 2013 years ago Satan was dethroned at the cross through Christ's death burial and resurrection he attacks us but he doesn't have the claws and we are in the millennium and through the systematic preaching and teaching of the Word of God everyone fulfilling and doing God's will and purpose Satan is bound and he will be completely defeated and the world will be Christianized ushering in a golden age of peace and prosperity then the defeat of the devil in the flesh the resurrection and the final world age and heaven age the eternal state where we will be with Christ for all eternity on this world in a new eternal state with our resurrected bodies so don't let the Grinch Satan destroy your holiday don't think about the Christmas presents don't think about the about all those presents that you don't want or like that people give you think about what this holiday is about think about what spending time with family and friends even if you don't get along with them because that is what the holiday is about and I really enjoy the time of Christmas not only because it's the conception of our Lord and Savior but I love the Christmas lights and the pretty packages and the Christmas stories and so forth enjoy that more than the actual December 25th when the giving of Christmas presents take place God blesses those who bless you and curse those who curse you and everyone will get what's coming to them the good the bad the ugly not only in this lifetime but the lifetime to come more so they'll get what's coming to them in the lifetime to come but people's sins and the mistakes they make and the wickedness that they perpetrate they will suffer one way or another whether they're, if someone is a murderer and they escape the eyes of justice in this earth they'll suffer the consequences of their sins by other ways maybe poor health or whatever and 
ultimately they'll have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and they will be judged for their wickedness and for their evilness and get what's coming to them the good, the bad, the ugly but let us remember to give God the credit the things, the protection, the love that he boasts upon us because our strength, our shield, all that comes from God and justice and so forth. Without God, without the truth, without Christ, this world would be a complete unjust world. And it is a complete unjust world, but God is about justice righteousness, holiness, and being impartial and he'll deal, deal out justice according to his will and purpose and God will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you if you are in the right. David recognized his righteousness, his holiness, living a godly and holy life is from God and the God alone and he recognizes without that he could not live a godly and holy life and you cannot live a godly and holy life without God in the picture A he uses this diversity of names to show that as the wicked have many means to hurt so God has many ways to help B for no one can obtain their request from God if they do not join his glory with their petition. C. He speaks of the dangers and malice of his enemies from which God had delivered him. D. A description of the wrath of God against his enemies after he had heard his prayer. E. He shows how horrible God's judgments will be to the wicked. F. Darkness signifies the wrath of God, as the clear light signifies God's favor. G. This is described at large in PSA 104-135. H. As a king angry with the people, will not show himself to them. I. Thunders, lightnings and hail. K. His lightning. L. That is, the deep bottoms were seen when the Red Sea was divided. M. Out of many great dangers. N. That is, Saul. O. Therefore God sent me help. P. The cause of God's deliverance is his favor and love for us. Q. David was sure of his righteous cause and good behavior towards Saul and his enemies and therefore was assured of God's favor and deliverance. Ah, for all his dangers he exercised himself in the law of God. F. I neither gave place to their wicked temptations nor to my own desires. T. Here he speaks of God according to our capacity, who shows mercy to his and punishes the wicked. As is also said in, Lev underscore 26 hours 21 minutes, Lev underscore 26 hours 24 minutes. U, when their sin is come to the full measure. X, he attributes it to God that he both got the victory in the field and also destroyed the cities of his enemies. Y, no matter how great or many the dangers may be, yet God's promise must take effect. Z. He gives good success to all my enterprises. A. As towers and forts, which he took out of the hands of God's enemies. B. To defend me from dangers. C. He attributed the beginning, continuance and increase in well-doing only to God's favor. D. David declares that he did nothing besides his calling but was stirred up by God's Spirit to execute his judgments. E. You have given them to my hands to be slain. F. They who reject the cry of the afflicted, God will also reject them when they cry for help, 
for either pain or fear causes the